So let's talk about what we will be building in this course. And first of all, we're going to have a landing page with some dynamic sections, which you can drag around in the customizer. And we can see over here in the customizer, the image with text section, we can just drag around to whichever position we want. After that, we're going to have a rich text section, which includes just a heading and description. Following that, we have an image with text section, and it's going to have an image part, a heading and description, and we can also reverse the position of the image. So if you want the images to be on the left or the right side, we can also uh, have that dynamically changed. And we have another image with text. And we have another banner or hero image, as it's uh, also called in some themes. And this is the landing page that I'm going to be using for this course as well. So over here, I talk about why I decided to choose Shopify for this project. And also why Vue.js is chosen for this project as well. And I'm going to be talking about this more in later videos, but just to give an overview of why Vue.js fits perfectly in Shopify themes is because it's very light and flexible and at the same time very powerful and it allows us to do many things that simply vanilla JavaScript or jQuery just won't allow us to do. And one of those is state management. So we can actually implement a lot of new features with our Shopify theme when we introduce Vue.js, things like a wish list, or a favorites list, we can implement that very easily with Vue.js as well. Whereas in vanilla JavaScript, it was much more difficult to implement. And I have a cheesy banner down here. And I'm basically saying that Vue.js adds elegance and innovation together. And it's elegant because I'm going to be showing you just the difference between what we will be building and something like a debut theme, which I believe is very bloated with a lot of unnecessary code and it becomes very difficult to work with it when you're trying to make changes to the way that the theme works. So with our theme, any new developer who knows JavaScript will be able to jump into it and make changes and improve on the theme. So I think that's one of the most beautiful parts of actually using Vue.js for building a custom theme. Then we're going to have a menu section and a cart and both of these are slide out. And we can click anywhere to close the cart as well. And if we go into the collections page, we have our collection page with the product. And we have arrows indicating that the images can be switched on the fly here. And hovering over these. The full theme is mobile friendly as well that we will be building. And again, we can drag over here in the mobile to actually switch between the images. And the navigation actually switches as well for mobile, just to make it more thumb accessible. And we can see here that slide out menu comes out and then we have the card come out as well. And then if we go into the product, we have a custom drop down menu. And so we can choose a different color, a size and add it to cart. And now the cart dynamically changes to accommodate for the products in the cart. And we can also change the quantity of the cart as well. And it automatically updates. We can also completely remove the item from the cart and we have an empty state for the cart as well. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you where I got the inspiration for this theme and why I decided to create this theme for this course. And this isn't a theme that I designed myself. It's a theme that I came about after doing a lot of research on which theme I thought was the best one. So let's jump into the next video and I'll see you there.